Hi beauty fam, welcome to Mickey Car Beauty. I'm Mickey and today I will be going over my Black Friday hauls of my Victoria Beckham purchases. It's the first time I'm trying Victoria Beckham as a product and I ended up picking these products at the Victoria Beckham uh, Black Friday haul sale and I ended up getting a free Power Glow set of her serum. So I'll be talking about those products in this video. So if you're interested in seeing how I pulled together this beautiful look of Victoria Beckham luxury clean beauty, then keep watching. Hi beauty fam, welcome back to Mickey Car Beauty. Today, I'm going to play with some new makeup that I got from my Black Friday haul before the holidays. And so I'm just getting around to it now. I've been using some of these products but I, for the first time, I ended up getting uh, Victoria Beckham products because they had a sale and they had a um, special offer that if you spent a certain amount that you would get a six week trial of Victoria Beckham's uh, um, skincare serum. I've been wanting to try these for a while are the Lid Lusters by Victoria Beckham. And I think Mink is probably the most popular one in this beautiful packaging. And what's the, it's about five grams or 0.17 ounce. The closest dupe I can think of would be Chantecaille and the color Starfish. And that's what it looks like. And let me compare. So here is Starfish and here is Tea Rose. So you can see it's a pretty similar. This has a little bit more glitter in it. This is a little bit more a satiny color and less glitter in the Chantecaille. So let me swatch that. And that's what that looks like. So you can already see it's a little bit more subdued. That up top is, is Tea Rose and this is Chantecaille's Starfish. So let me swatch Starfish for you. And you can see already that's a little bit more purpley. More purple, less glitter. And the one Tea Rose, definitely more kind of rose gold uh, mixed in with that purple sheen. So, I mean, together they're really pretty. And one could even like work out, look, layer these together. So this could be a more daytime look. And I definitely think these are like more office friendly, but depending on your job, you could wear this too. I'm gonna grab a clean Sonia G Builder. And this is from the Lotus series. And just go ahead and dip that in here. It's not as creamy as I thought it would be. But for the sake of building up, I want to see and show you how much it builds up. Um, I've tested this out probably. This is not a first impressions. I've been playing with these for about a week. It helps if you know you have the right brush. And the Sonia G's, like these kind of um, more dense brushes, uh, tend to lay down the product better just because it's... It just packs on the color. Okay, so that's what one eye looks like here. Next eye, just with my finger, just so you can see. And I don't prefer my fingers because it's a little bit messier, but you know, we'll see how this looks. Okay, I don't see much of a difference in application. One thing I did notice is that this, with the finger, it seemed like the glitter that is in there moved around less and that there might be a little bit more glitter on my finger application versus the brush application which might be brushing some of the product or at least the glitter away. I've worn test this product a couple times and I have not experienced much creasing which is really great which is really unusual with a lot of these products. I don't experience creasing in this but it's a little bit more matte so it actually is a little bit more forgiving. It's unusual for glittery kind of cream eyeshadows to not crease, so that's really impressive. And that's I think that's why I was really hesitant to get these lid lusters because I I just felt like these are beautiful, like at least the Marc Jacobs one. And I'll hold this up so you can see. It's very similar in how it's packaged. Um, and actually, I think this is actual, yeah, these are both glass. This is the Marc Jacobs. It comes with this gold top. It has also this kind of mechanism to keep every, the moisture in. Um, and this is the color um, Topaz Flash. It's very similar, but I think this might have more brown in it. We'll see. Okay, 
So let me swatch this one. And I remember, what I remember on this one is that it's a bit more emollient. So yeah, and there's definitely more chunks of glitter there too. So let me move my watch so you can see. Definitely more cool tone, more silver in there that you can see. There is actually more of a brown hue there. You can see it now. So you can see this one, which is Chantecaille seashells, more brown purple. There's more mauve in here with some flecks of, if I go this way, you can see it, some silver flecks, whereas this has a brown undertone and flick flecks of gold. Very beautiful too. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I already curled my eyelashes and what I wanna do next is use a satin Kajal eyeliner. What I wanna do is I'm gonna use the smudger. Again, this is a Bordeaux color, so it looks a little bit red on fairer skins. But because I'm a medium tan with warm or neutral olive skin tones, often these colors are just a really nice complementary color to my skin tone. And sometimes it can even pull off a little bit brown. So I'll just get up close so you can see. I'm noting there is some fallout of the glitter from the lid luster. I don't know if you can see it, but there's definitely like different glit glitter particles down here. So I don't want to smudge this too much because also when I smudge it, then the glitter tends to fall down. But I'm pretty happy with that, that little baby wing. So I'm going to do the other eye. And I'm not one to put Kajal in my waterline. You might have seen me do that in some of my videos. I just don't prefer it because my eyes are really sensitive and I have contacts. So, so what I know about this eye Kajal is that it's very emollient. So I don't prefer to put this at the bottom just because um, if I do that, I've noticed I've gotten the raccoon panda eyes. So I'm going to leave this only on the top. So it's really pretty. It's a nice compliment with that color. It makes the pink pop a little bit more. Since there's some migration, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my Chanel Brune um, eyeliner, these ones. I'm going to clean it off. I do want some eyeliner at the bottom. And I, what I do love about these, people have said that these tend to dry out and I guess I never noticed it. I just noticed that they were always drier than those other products I just mentioned, but it doesn't bother me. I just, what I end up doing is just like rub it a little bit to just warm up the product and then get it going. And then it's not as dry anymore. But what I love about these are that they're waterproof and once they dry down, they don't budge. And these are great for my bottom water the, or the bottom area because it's so oily. So what I'm doing is taking a Beauty, BK Beauty 204 and I what is this I think it's really what she calls the smudger brush and I like to just take then that clean brush and just smudge it along the line just to meet the two and soften it up you see that it kind of smokes it out I do it fairly soon because these this that Chanel does it does dry down a bit. Okay, I'm back and I finished my eye look with mascara. I've used the Dark Star Pat McGrath mascara for my upper lashes and the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash for the lower. Let's do bronzer contour. This has to be one of the best one of the best packaging in my entire collection. Like a different kind of, you know, next level. So it's got this gold. It reminds me of old, maybe an old fashioned kind of cosmetic container. So I feel like it's very classic, but also yet very modern at the same time. So this tortoiseshell, I love it. And again, I got that in shade 03. And what I think is interesting is that, okay, so it's a 12 month shelf life. What's really cool is that this compact 
is reusable. So when I'm done with this, or if I wanted to go lighter or deeper, I could just switch that out. I think is interesting is that I'm really confused of how they're saying the left side is warm sand. And that's, I would say warm would be the bronzer and contour is on the right, which is soul, like sun. So sand and sun. So left, contour is clearly they're saying on the right, but let me open that up for you. So contour on the right hand side, my right. But to me, this looks warmer than this. So let me just swatch that for you. Let me kind of show that to you. Contour, do another swatch. And they're saying this is the bronzer. So on my skin tone, I would actually use what they're saying as the bronzer as contour, just because you can see on my skin tone that runs more gray. And I really wouldn't want to use this warm color as my contour. I would actually use this more as a bronzer. So I don't know if that's a mix up. You let me know by color. Like I could switch it and flip it. I'm kind of curious if they like put it in wrong, quite honestly. So it is magnetized, I took it out. So this is the pan. And this is the compact case. So it's like a really heavy magnet, which I love. It's like, you know, it'll be a keepsake for me. So what I am going to do is actually I'm going to flip it because it confuses me every time. So I'm going to use this as contour, which is more gray on me. And this as bronzer, which is warm on me. So I'm using a 04 rougher brush for the contour, more matte. So there is some kick up, but I'm not too bothered by that. So you can see that. And I know some people actually just swirl it too. So it's, I mean, here's the thing. There's guides for makeup, but there's no hard set rules. I mean, people make rules because they want to. But whatever works for you, it's makeup. So you can see it's actually running pretty warm on me today. Okay, so let's try the other one. I'm taking my Face Pro by, by Sonia G. I'm loving this brush. This is definitely one of my favorite purchases from last year. Seeing that what they said is the contour shape, and then I'm gonna see if I can use this a, bron a bronzer. So you can see that got really warm really quick. And in the end, it just kind of muddles together, honestly, for me. I mean, I can see why I could probably get away with two, but I would probably have to build it up more. It's not my favorite contour shade, but I love this combination together, just together as a bronzer. I mean, look at how pretty that is. I'm just gonna be all over, just give myself some, some color, pretty. So I'm really happy with this. I've been using this a lot, which my favorite contour is. I bought this towards the end of last year. And this is the Kevin Aquan. And they, this is the deep contour. So let me swatch that for you. So you can see it's more gray. And this is Kevin Aquan. So you can see definitely pulls more gray. And this is what I think would be gray for deeper skin tones. And it's definitely deep, too deep for me. But for me, I just it's easier for me to use this and go light handed. And in fact, why don't we use some of that now so you can see what that looks like. I'm gonna take this clean Cheek Pro and a little goes a long way. Just sculpt out that area a little bit. I know this is supposed to be a Victoria Beckham kind of haul try on but you know this is what at least some of us have to do with when you don't have a spot on match you have to, we have to play an experiment with different colors to make make it work for us so again victoria beckham 03 this is supposed to be the contour and then the bronzer but i flipped it so i've been using this as the contour and the bronzer and this is kevin aquan uh deep contour shade. I think this beautiful. It's just like one of my favorite products from last year. It's tiny, but it's like super luxe too. Just beautiful packaging. And it's got this kind of ombre effect. You see that? It's like 
red wine and then it goes to brown just love it chocolate brown it's been a lot of talk because it just came out this week actually today of the new chanel spring line and it looks lovely i'm really sucked in and really looking at that blush the, the peach one i have a lot of blush already so i'm trying to again see what i have in my collection so i don't end up buying things i have and also just using the product i have bought already i think it's a lot lighter than what i'm thinking so off the bat i could think of the pat mcgrath blush in desert orchid but i think it's too brown but it's a lovely color for those of us with tan medium skin tones that's just such a lovely color and i don't think it was 70 dollars. i think this was like 30 40 bucks um, I was thinking about the Marc Jacobs uh, Air Blush uh, 502 Lines in Last Night, which is so sad they don't make this anymore. They stopped uh, making this product, but it's one of my favorite blushes in my collection. So uh, there's like actually two different colors here, this one, this one, and then you can sweep across. You see that? So I'll show you what that looks like. This is... This is the one you do... Um, this is the standalone color, this one. So super bright, but on my skin tones, it ends up this being really kind of like pretty, really pretty peach. And then I think about my Suku blushes, these blushes, which are 101 and 102. And it reminds me a lot of the color hues of the new Chanel. So there's like this dark, deep color, which reminds me a bit of this or one of, or this perhaps, but this is more purple undertone in it. It reminds me a little bit about this color. And this is the 102 Suku. And I don't think it's a match. I think this is more purple. And the one that Chanel has is a little bit more like a deep and rich terracotta. But let me swatch that one too. So this is really beautiful orange color terracotta. Also very beautiful. Um, but this orange, these two oranges here are remind me of that kind of the vibe of that peach one. Again, I don't think it's going to be the same, but kind of similar vibe. But as you can see, I have a lot of blush already. And what I sometimes do is again, I put the deeper tone back here and then the lighter one here. So I'll show you, I'm gonna use, this is probably the one I favor more. There's one, this is again, this is 101 here and 102. And some people did not like these. For me, I love them because it's the color of tones that work for me. And I think it's because it's a Asian company where they're gonna have people with like maybe more yellow undertones. So that works well for me. And I don't see these colors very much on the market. Do you have one more Suku blush? I was just thinking, I do prefer their individual pan um, blushes more. I think it's a better quality than these pans, but I mean, you get six, uh, four blushes and two highlights for that. So let me swatch that for you. So it's really beautiful color too. It's light and that. So I'm so glad that I'm swatching these and going through my collection. Why don't we go with this because I'm thinking about the brown color of the lips I'm gonna put on, lipstick. So very pigmented, what I remember from this palette. So let me go light on here. Yeah, and it's, if you have tan skin, I would highly recommend this this palette to this blush palette because again four blushes again this is more like the terracotta orange um and there's a highlight here and then this is more of the purple hues and that's like a pink highlighter just and i'll show the highlighters really really pretty so this is probably best for um tan skin tones okay so that was that blush of uh, the sony g cheek pro going into this because it's pretty pigmented and i'm actually going to do this a little bit just to lot on but you know for video purposes 
I wanted to show you how much it could be built up. The last Victoria Beckham product I got, again, was the Posh Lipstick and the color Fringe. Again, comes in this really beautiful packaging. And then I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is do a little bit light application, just so you can see what it looks like, just if it's put on very lightly, and then how it can be built up. So again, this is Fringe, and it's this brown color, and then it can be built up like that. Just spreading some of that on there, super light. I would say that if you're gonna do that, I would probably lay down some lip oil first, but just I just wanted to do it without any products so you could see. And then I'm gonna go in with a second layer just so you can see me building it up. Okay, so that, you know, I did, again, this that was lightly dabbed. I think I would prefer this level of intensity just because I know I've been using this already. So what the thing to note about this product is that they're pretty pigmented and actually I like that. I like that I can control the intensity. This is not a lot. So the way I've been wearing this mostly is like this color, which is just a really beautiful kind of a brownie nude for my skin tone. Let's get up close so you can see. And I didn't have to use any lip liner. I would use Decade because that's more of like the brown liner. And so let's see. Okay, that's with Decade. And that's that color. I'll swatch it for you. So it's like my staple brown. I love it. But it's not like super brown. It's like got a little bit of orange in it. I'm going to build up now. Okay. So that's the, the intensity three, I would say, but it's really beautiful. I am happy I got it. it. Wasn't you know what I was expecting? I guess I didn't know what I was expecting. Other was going to be brown, but it's not a complete brown. There's definitely a little bit of orange in there, so it works with the bronzer, the blush, the look. So this is the final look, and tell me what you think. So four products of Victoria Beckham on my face. This is the final look. Final thoughts on the products. I do really enjoy the Bordeaux Cajals. I am definitely interested in getting more colors, particularly the brown, because then I could uh, I could smudge out the brown and then use that as a base for a lot of colors. But I mean, you can see here that almost this it almost can turn purple or brown depending on what I'm wearing or have on my eyes. And so I found that, again, best not to use, I have oily eyelids and aging eyelids, so I don't use it on the bottom, just the top, but it's a lovely product. I understand some people might not like this because of the hygiene, but I actually really love it because it just, it's easier for me to smudge it out. And again, this is, this is luxury beauty, clean beauty. These are on the pricey side, but again, if you can get a sale, go for it. But, you know, I'm really big on uh, eyeliners and eyeliners that actually are good quality. Two colors I do want are cocoa, and then there's a blue one as well. Tea Rose Lid Lusters. I like this product, I don't know if I love it. I This had been so hyped up by media and, and other influencers that I was expecting this kind of mind-blowing product. I think what you're gonna get, what you're paying for is that it's clean beauty, it's luxury, this packaging is beautiful. It does remind me again a little bit of a cross between the glam of Marc Jacobs, which I stopped using this because this was a hot mess express. It was just a glitter everywhere and I was not feeling it, but it was beautiful. Like a night out, which I don't do anymore. Like, I don't know who's going out to clubs, but this was definitely like, you know, really, really glam, lots of glitter. And then it's a cross between this and the blitz glitziness of like, of the Chantecaille, these mermaid eyes. And maybe even I would say, dare say, the Tom Ford cream, the Tom Ford cream and powder eye colors, because they do have these glitter toppers on top, which can glam it up. So, you know, I have a whole, 
And if I can do, if you want me to do, I can do a dedicated video on cream, <laughs> cream eyeshadows because I really do like them when they work, when they don't crease. And I, so I do know that this has not creased and I'm pretty impressed with that. If I were to get another color, it's not like on the top of my list. I'm pretty happy with this because this is more like an everyday color for me. But if I can't get this to work, I'll probably get mink next and I might get the blue one just because I know I'll use those colors or I just might not get any I just ended up getting a lot of eye stuff already so I don't need it particularly I'm thinking of the it's a different kind of medium but I ended up getting the Lisa Eldridge liquid lyrics liquid lyrics and I haven't done a review on that which I'll do it's on my queue of things to do but I'm pretty happy with those as well so kind of just again using what I have <laughs> the bronzing brick and contour love this product love it love it i think if i if there's another sale i see i would probably get the zero two but what i'm really breaking out is that this i'm at the palest right now in january february and so if it's working for me now this is going to be lovely as i build this up into the summer so i'm just so happy this is my only matte bronzer in my collection prior to that i would have a really difficult time finding a matte bronzer that worked for me that I liked. Either they pulled too warm or I just didn't like the texture. Everyone raved about the Charlotte Tilbury matte bronzer. I did not like that one. And the only, the color that only worked for me was in the face palette. And that was the only pan product I liked in that entire face palette, which was sad because I think it was like 70 or $80. And I basically paid $70, $80 for just the one shade that I liked. She doesn't sell that bronze shade in those big pans. Like if she had, I would have got, gotten it because I could never the jump between the medium and like the deeper one is really big and I there should they're like missing a bronzer matte in that in in that um that line for Tilbury so I definitely highly recommend this this is actually I would say this is my favorite product out of the entire Victoria Beckham purchase I've had and then talking about the the posh lipsticks I really like this I really uh I, I definitely have a lot of lipstick and what I'm reaching for are ones that are more emollient just because it's, I'm in winter. Most of the time I'm indoors wearing, um, maybe if I'm like, I'm wearing some lip product, but I don't want to wear matte lipstick right now. Again, because it's clean beauty does not, none of these products have a smell. Um, they're really comfortable on my lips. It's not drying. I'm kind of looking at what other posh lipsticks I might want to get. So if you're my skin tone or you just know the color because you own some of these posh lipsticks and you think there'd be a really nice color on me and my skin tone, let me know because it's been really hard for me to figure out the colors on her websites and other people. Okay, so that's the final look. Let me get in closer so you can see. So that's it for my review um, and try on of my new Victoria Beckham Okay, so part of the deal with the sale items, I think it was 20% like off, they were offering this Victoria Beckham by Augustinus Botter Cell Rejuvenating Power Serum Power Glow Set. It's basically the serum that she did with Augustina Botter. Augustinus Botter. And it's a six weeks of glowing skin. So in a way, I feel like these are trial sizes. Let me show you. I'm, and the second one is out because I'm on week two already. So it comes in this really cool packaging which I'm in trouble opening. Here we go. So yeah, so there's, you know, there's six files. I finished one, I'm on a week two. I'll let you know if I notice a change after the six weeks, but I'm also trying out this other product that I haven't um, felt comfortable enough to review yet, but I just want to give it its fair use and then you can tell me. I'll do some before and after pictures of, of my skin to see if you've noticed a difference, but maybe you can tell me now if you've noticed a difference of my skin I'm having some breakouts here but in terms of like face shape and then texture if you're noticing a difference with the, the discount I think with the four products got the discount and if you spent over $150 then you got this for free and I think a good deal because yeah I think this is I think I remember it retailed about $150 is what I remember in any event I'll let you know how that works out for me and report back but let me know if you've tried any other victoria beckham makeup or skincare what you love and don't like from that brand if there's anything you think i should try let me know and i'll put it on my wish list again i am trying to do a low buy uh the for we'll see as long how long i can go i'm definitely doing it for first quarter of this year because i'm 
so already backed up with so many makeup and skincare products from the Black Friday hauls that I just need to start using what I have. And some of my makeup and skincare is expiring, so I'm definitely stopping and pausing. And it's a good practice, I think, then to stop and really think before I purchase things. So what I've been doing is making, if I see something, I'm always looking back in my collection to see if I have a dupe. The second thing I'm looking is just, um, I might put it in my cart in on my computer. I'm doing a thing where I don't buy things for sure. Like I wait pretty much two days, two days before I actually complete a purchase. Hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, as always, you can leave me some comments below or questions and if you haven't already subscribed please consider subscribing to my channel i'd really appreciate the support and subscribe to the button below and you can ring the notification bell that way you can make sure to get notification of all the videos i put up i aim to put up two to three videos every week if i have time and if you can comment below uh, and, and engage, that helps me out as well. And as always, please be very kind to yourself and others and just be you. And until the next video, I'll see you then. Take good care. Bye.